welcome to uh, this special show where we'll be covering a truly unique event. Bai Sab Bai Mohinder Singh Ji is being bestowed with a knighthood by the current Pope, Pope Benedict XVI, for his work uh, both to push forward Catholic Sikh relations and also creating interfaith harmony between people of many faiths throughout the world. Uh, Bai Sab Bai Mohinder Singh Ji is renowned for his work uh, both with national and international organizations in a range of different capacities and most recently in February of this year was asked to speak at the United Nations General Assembly during the UN uh, Interfa Interfaith and Harmony Week. One of the attendees at the function stressed that it, with the current environment of Sikhs living uh, throughout the world, it is essential that the Sikh diaspora engages both with global organisations, uh, which are governments and non-governmental, uh, and also with people of other faiths. Sikh issues are now truly global, and in order to ensure that we can meet our challenges, uh, Baisab and others like them also need to engage on an international scale. Please join me as we uh, go and see the ceremony and also speak with Bai Sabji and the Archbishop of Birmingham. The Pontifical Orders represent one of the highest and most prestigious distinctions which the Pope, as Supreme Pontiff and Head of the Roman Catholic Church and as Sovereign of the Vatican City State, can bestow on an individual. Such awards are made to lay faithful, to lay individuals, both men and women of the Roman Catholic faith, as well as those of other Christian denominations and of other faiths. Such awards are granted in recognition of an individual's preeminent service to their faith, community, or the work of the Holy See on a local, national, and international level. Becoming a knight or dame does not merely mean receiving a title of honour, even though well deserved, but fighting evil, promoting good, and defending the weak and oppressed against injustice. Baha'i Sahib Baha'i. The papal brief which creates you a knight of the Order of St. Gregory the Great reads now as follows. Benedict the Sixteenth, Supreme Pontiff, gladly acceding to a request made to us from which we have gathered that you are most deserving for what you have done for the Holy Catholic Church and its affairs and in order that we might give a clear sign of our pleasure and appreciation. We choose, make and declare you Baha'i Sahib Baha'i Mohanda Singh Aluwalia of the Guru Nanak Nishkam Sevak Jatha, a Knight of the Order of St. Gregory the Great. We bestow on you the right to use and enjoy all the privileges which go with this high destiny. Given at St. Peter's in Rome on the first day of March in the year of our Lord 2012, signed and sealed by the Cardinal Secretary of State, Cardinal Bertoni. I have been delegated by His Holiness Pope Benedict XVI to invest you with the insignia of the order to which he has appointed you.
in the name of the Holy Father, I herewith invest you with the insignia of a knight of the Pontifical Order of St. Gregory the Great. And I present you the papal brief. I present you with the sword of the Pontifical Order of St. Gregory the Great.
ਸੋ ਦਿਆਗੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਮਾਰੀ ਜੀਉ ਪਿੰਡ ਸਭ ਤੇਰਾ ਕਹੋ ਨਾਨਕ ਸਭ ਤੇਰੀ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਕੋਈ ਨਾਉ ਨਾ ਜਾਣੇ ਮੇਰਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀਉ ਤੂੰ ਠਾਕਰ ਤੂੰ ਪੈ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਜੀਉ ਪਿੰਡ ਸਭ ਤੇਰੀ ਰਾਸ ਤੂੰ ਮਾਤ ਪਿਤਾ ਹਮ ਬਾਰਗ ਤੇਰੇ ਤੁਮਰੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੂਖ ਨੇਰੇ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਜਾਣੇ ਤੁਮਰਾ ਅੰਤ ਉੱਚੇ ਤੇ ਉੱਚਾ ਭਗਵਾਨ ਸਗਲ ਸਮਗਰੀ ਤੁਮਰੇ ਸੂਤਰ ਤਾਰੀ ਤੁਮ ਤੇ ਹੋਏ ਸੋ ਆਗਿਆਕਾਰੀ ਤੁਮਰੀ ਗਤ ਮਿਤ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਨਾਨਕ ਦਾਸ ਸਦਾ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਤੁਮਰੀ ਗਤ ਮਿਤ ਤੁਮ ਹੀ ਜਾਣੀ ਨਾਨਕ ਦਾਸ ਸਦਾ ਕੁਰਬਾਨੀ ਪੌੜੀ ਕੀਤਾ ਲੋੜੀਏ ਕੰਮ ਸੋ ਹਰ ਪੈ ਆਖੀਐ ਕਾਰਜ ਦੇ ਸਵਾਰ ਸਤਗੁਰ ਸਚ ਸਾਖੀਐ ਸੰਤਾਂ ਸੰਗ ਨਿਧਾਨ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਚਾਖੀਐ ਪੈ ਪੰਜਨ ਮਿਹਰਵਾਨ ਦਾਸ ਕੀ ਰਾਖੀਐ ਨਾਨਕ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਏ ਅਲਖ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਲਾਖੀਐ ਨਾਨਕ ਹਰ ਗੁਣ ਗਾਏ ਅਲਖ ਪ੍ਰਭ ਲਾਖੀਐ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਇਕ ਓੰਕਾਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਪੋਤੀ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਏ ਵਾਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਪੋਤੀ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਦਸਮੀ ਪ੍ਰਥਮ ਭਗਤੀ ਸਿਮਰ ਕੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਲੈਂ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਫਿਰ ਅੰਗਦ ਗੁਰ ਤੇ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਰਾਮਦਾਸੇ ਹੋਏ ਸਹਾਏ ਅਰਜਨ ਹਰਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਨੂੰ ਸਿਮਰੋ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਰਾਏ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਹਰ ਕ੍ਰਿਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਆਈਏ ਜਿਸ ਡਿੱਠੇ ਸਭ ਦੁਖ ਜਾਏ ਤੇਗ ਬਹਾਦਰ ਸਿਮਰੈ ਕਰ ਨੋ ਨਿਦ ਆਵੇ ਤਾਏ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਏ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਸਾਈ ਦਸਵੇਂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਲਗੀ ਤਰ ਦਾ ਤਾਰ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਏ ਸਭ ਥਾਈ ਹੋਏ ਜੀ ਸਹਾਏ ਸਤ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੁਰਖ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਤਨ 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 ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਠ ਦੀਦਾਰ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਧਰ ਕੇ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬੋਲਣਾ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ 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 ਹੈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦੇ ਚਰਨਾਂ ਵਿਖੇ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਜੋਧਰੀ ਹੈ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਹੋਲੀ ਫਾਦਰ ਪੋਪ ਬੈਨੇਡਿਕਟ ਸੋਲ ਮੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਪ੍ਰੇਰਣਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਪਾਈ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਪਾਈ ਮਹਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਆਲੂ ਵਾਲੀਆ ਤੇ ਵਿਲੀਅਮ ਉਜ਼ੇਕ ਨੂੰ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਨਾਈਟਹੁੱਡ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਉਪਾਧੀ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਬਖਸ਼ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਰਹਿਮਤ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਬਖਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਨੀ ਅੰਗ ਸੰਗ ਸਹੀ ਹੋਣਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਪਾਸ਼ਾ ਜੀ ਸਹੀ ਗੁਰਮੁਖ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਮਿਲਣੀ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਮਿਲਿਆ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਚਿਤ ਆਵੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨਾਮ ਚੜ੍ਹਦੀ ਕਲਾ ਤੇਰੇ ਪਾਣੇ ਸਰਬਤ ਕਾ ਭਲਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਬੋਲੇ ਸੋ ਨਿਹਾ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਹਰਿ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਈ ਹੋਪ ਯੂ ਇੰਜੋਏ ਦਿ ਸੈਰੇਮਨੀ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਅਕਰੋਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਪੀਕ ਵਿਦ ਬਾਈਸਾਬ ਜੀ ਇਨ ਦਿ ਆਰਚ ਬਿਸ਼ਪ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਸਮ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ we're here now with the archbishop of uh, of Birmingham we've had the opportunity to witness a, a historic event uh, a seek Uh, has been bestowed with uh, a great on a knighthood uh, by the Catholic Church um archbishop uh, it was a fantastic ceremony could you reflect with us uh, the importance of the ceremony and what it signified today i've been very grateful that the holy see has bestowed upon bahai sahib bahai dr mohinder singh alwalia uh, one of the faith leaders in the city of birmingham um, and a spiritual leader for many sikhs across the world with this honor of the papal knighthood and i'm grateful that it's in recognition of the contribution that he has made to seek catholic relations not only here in birmingham and in the uk but in many other places
we're, I think we're called as people of faith um, to work for the good of others and especially that we have a, an opportunity which is given to us to seek peace and to be of service to the nations. And today when we know our world is so much in need of that peace, international peace, but peace also for people to, to practice their faith, to worship their faith at peace, but also to live their faith for the good of others. And I think that in, in small as well as big ways, it's important that we demonstrate. And I'm very grateful that, um, that in this way we've been able to, to symbolize a little demonstration of what is possible to achieve and to experience, uh, recognize the, the, the goodness that is in our own traditions, uh, to share something of that and to give thanks for what we've been able to share today. Sure. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Very well. Thank you. Thank you. So, Vice Subject First of all, congratulations. And you've had this honour bestowed upon you uh, for the great uh, work you've done in the faith, field of interfaith. Could you tell us a little bit more about the work that you've done? To say I have done anything <laughs> is very difficult. The point is that I've been assisted by a very rich congregation. Uh, people, friends of other faiths as well, to convey this message of peace, message of faith solidarity. It is so very important that faiths can work together. Unless faiths work together, there can be no peace. So I have had this passion about getting faith people together. This is something that our gurus have taught us. We have, for example, Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Avval Allah noor ho paaya, kudrat ke sab bande, ek noor te sab ja gup jaya, kaun pale ko mande. That we have all welled up from the same divine light. So the whole human race is one large family. That's what Guru Gobind Singh Ji also states. Manas ki jaat sab ek hi pehchan do. So six have little difficulty in respecting uh, other faiths, other religions. They have little difficulty in respecting even people who have no faith, because they are also human beings. They are also sparks from the same divine flame. The number of issues that we have been discussing with the Pontifical Council, one, of course, is the solidarity. Then there is education, then family values, sanctity of marriage. Also, people call them articles of faith, but we call them the kakars and the star, because you cannot translate our kakars into articles of faith. They are much, much, much more unique and different. We, of course, have a lot of respect for all the articles of faith, anybody's articles of faith. But our kakars are very different. So we've been trying to engage in dialogue. But dialogue in itself doesn't help. You also have to have action. And you've got to create this space within yourself for the others. Uh, I feel very honored, very privileged, but also very humbled that the Catholic faith through the Holy Father should recognize a, a six little endeavors. I consider myself a known entity, utter humility, but uh, it warms your heart that there are others who are also seeking peace. <coughs> uh, 
So I hope and pray that we can strengthen these relations with other faiths as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for uh, coming to this place and witnessing what you have, uh, historical moments. I hope uh, you enjoyed the show. Uh, it was truly uh, an interesting sight for me at least, the first time that Sikh services have been performed at St Chad's Cathedral. Now, this is a unique honour that's been bestowed uh, on Baisabji and on the Sikh community. For the first time, a papal knighthood has been given to someone uh, from the Sikh faith. It surely will help to sow the seeds of uh, interfaith uh, harmony and also relationships between the Catholic Church and uh, Sikhs worldwide. Now, if you'd like to find out a little bit more uh, about the event itself, please visit www.nishkarmediacenter.com. Thank you so much.